Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman and Lois and their season finale for season 2. We have a big crossover that's happening in this episode. We have some photos to break down, as well as a synopsis and also the trailer. So this is coming this Tuesday night, so literally tomorrow night. So very excited to talk about this, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Superman and Lois has had many breaks this season, but finally we've made it to the end of the season. This is episode 15 of season 2. It's going to be airing on June 28th, which is in fact tomorrow. Today is June 27th as of recording this video. And it's going to be playing at 8, 7 central, just like always. It's titled Waiting for Superman. And so this is the synopsis for the season finale, it goes like this. Chrissy Beppo, with the authorization of the DoD, has a message for the people of Smallville. Not only is the merging of the planets real, it is happening. That's pretty much it. That is right where we actually left off last episode. And so let's have a brief recap of what's gone on and what's going to be happening. So obviously last episode, you got a lot of revelations mainly the big revelation to the town of Smallville and I presume to most of the world is this other world and in fact they are about to merge and Superman at one point in the town hall was able to get through to all the people to make them trust Lana as their mayor and she says you know go home be with your families and basically pray that this is going to be okay there is surely some way of stopping it and that is what John Henry Irons was doing and currently he's MIA, he's out in the middle of nowhere after trying to stop Ali and he's the only person that's seeing Ali actually literally combine these two worlds together and at the end of the episode you get like flashes of the two worlds merging and things start to change, notably the Kent family house, it's starting to change. It's not fully changed yet but very soon everything could be completely different. And so the town people are all scared, like everything is completely changing, like the light is completely red because of the red sun that's approaching them. And all while this is happening, they're able to take down two of Ali's minions, obviously doppelgangers of Jonathan and Lana. But a big revelation, and this leads into the photos that I'm going to be breaking down in just a minute, is the fact that Sarah finds out that Jordan actually has powers and this happens with a great scene in the hallway at school as Lana's doppelganger approaches them and pops up out of nowhere and so Jordan's eyes go all red as he's about to whip out his heat vision and go fight her. He doesn't hesitate and this is the moment where she finds out that Jordan does have powers and she pretty much knows their secret. She's mad at their mum but they're not able to continue this and we're going to get the actual fallout of this in this coming episode. So the first photo of the season finale of Superman Lower Season 2 is this. We have Jordan and Sarah sitting on the bench and everything seems pretty calm. So I'm going to hazard the guess that this is after whatever has happened in this episode. Like maybe just past the midway point towards the end of the episode when things have calmed down a bit more. And so they are talking most definitely about Jordan's big reveal, the fact that he has powers and why he hasn't he told her all along and basically why he's had to keep it a secret. I'm looking forward to this scene because it's been a long time coming and I think it's right that Sarah finally knows the truth about what is going on because everything has been definitely off and she's noticed that and so now she knows the truth. Okay, so the next photo is at a celebration in Smallville with the family and this celebration is a big spoiler because this definitely confirms that yes they're able to stop Ali to some extent I don't know if they're gonna kill her are they going to lock her away is she going to be lost in space or something I have no idea however this celebration definitely hints that the world is saved and everything for now is back to normal and so let's move on to the next photo. We got a photo of Chrissy and Lois and they are talking. I presume this could still be within the window of the start of the episode only because the lighting is still very yellow and in post they grade it to red as far as I know. So 
that is seemingly it could go either way anyway so we have a wider shot of jordan and sarah as they are at this kind of parade this is just you know a wider shot of what we talked about before so nothing much to break down but the next photo really gives a lot away and so at the celebration you see the return of john henry irons that confirms he's okay again that's a big spoiler but also the return of a major Arrowverse character, that being none other than David Ramsey's John Diggle from Arrow. We just saw David Ramsey pop up as John Diggle on The Flash, and in The Flash's episode, he confronted Reverse Flash to try and find out the truth about the box that he has, and he was trying to open it, and finally he was able to open it in The Flash's episode last week. And so now with him having rejected the potential Green Lantern ring, he is now free from it and he's able to do anything else. So that begs the question, why is he on Superman Lois now after that big revelation came? Because you have to assume they planned it like this. They knew he would show up on The Flash and then maybe a week later with the finale of Superman Lois, he would show up. And you can tell they filmed at a very similar time because his hairstyle is pretty much exactly the same. And this is him on Superman Lois's Earth. So are we going to get official confirmation of exactly what's going on with Superman Lois, how it fits into the Arrowverse? Is this actually on our normal Flash Earth on Earth Prime or is this on another Earth? Well, you would have to assume, and we've assumed this in the past with Diggle showing up, that they're on the same earth because I don't think Diggle can cross the multiverse and especially right now I don't feel like he feels the need to cross the multiverse so I'm going to assume they are on the same earth as the Flash and so I have no idea what exactly he's doing here but it's been teased by the showrunner of Superman Lois that Diggle's return to Superman Lois and him actually showing up is going to tease what is coming in season 3 of Superman Lois. Now, this could be something to do with Argus and him having all of that information. He's able to warn them of a potential upcoming threat to Smallville. Or could it be that he's talking about maybe the Flash or a potential crossover threat that's coming and it will set up a new crossover next season because we know that the Flash's showrunner has been teasing a crossover and what happens if that crossover at the start of the Flash season 9 is linked to Superman and Lois in some way but you also have to question, why is he talking to John Henry Irons in specific? Why is he not talking to Clark? So that could mean that it's something related directly to John Henry Irons, like does Diggle know about maybe the black suited Superman? Is he back? Is he going to be coming in season 3? We just saw that in the comics, that he is still out there and that they would go back to him at some point because he was able to escape. Maybe that is a direct continuation of that. I would definitely like to see that other version of Superman and that's a definite possibility in my mind. But let's move on to the next photo. We have Lana, the mayor of Smallville at this celebration. I think you can see Clark in the background so it looks like Clark is fine. However, he's not standing there with anyone so that could totally be another person. But there's balloons everywhere, people are shouting, people are clapping, holding the American flag so basically they've won. This is their victory and they're able to actually save the day and they are celebrating. And then at the same celebration, you have a photo of Clark and Lana as they talk together. And this seems to be quite confrontational just by their stances. Well, not specifically Clark, but Lana more specifically. They're obviously gonna have to figure out how their family's going to work together, especially now that Sarah knows the truth. Okay, so we have another photo of John Diggle and John Henry Irons as they talk in this cafe or diner and yeah it's just like a wider shot basically showing the situation this is definitely after what what happens in this episode but then moving on to the next photo we've got Clark and Lana actually hugging which is a complete derailment from what we've been seeing recently and even in that last photo so it seems everything is fine between them especially because they were able to save the day and they've been kind of working together Okay, so the final photo we have is of John Henry Irons, and again, just another angle, talking to John Diggle. I think, and I have to emphasize this, I think this John Diggle scene is definitely going to tease Superman Lower Season 3, but I also think it's going to tease more of the multiverse and 
potentially linking to some other shows in the Arrowverse. However, it's been said that we're going to actually find out exactly where Superman Lois lies within the Arrowverse in this episode, in the finale, as told by General Lane, apparently according to the showrun of the show. So that is obviously something to look forward to because we're going to find out exactly where Superman Lois is and the fact that it is in the Arrowverse and we will get these crossovers and even just Diego being here, this proves that Superman Lois is in the Arrowverse. There is no question about that at all. And so, yeah, just briefly talking about the trailer, we have various shots throughout the trailer that tease what's to come. We know that Chrissy Beppo is going to be doing some sort of talk to the citizens of Smallville, basically bracing them for what's to come. And we know that General Lane and Clark aren't going to give up and all of the family are going to be kind of hanging out together, including Natalie, because Natalie's dad is obviously missing. And General Lane has this big kind of talk with the kids as he basically tells them don't lose hope just yet because there is still more time even while Ali is up there in the multiverse joining these two worlds together and we have to find a way to stop her and in the trailer it seems to tease that maybe Clark is going to somehow get his powers back. Now I have no idea how he's going to get his powers back but normally if we look at Supergirl, she normally gets her powers back by having like a heavy dose of yellow sun radiation. So potentially they find a way to restore his powers and he's able to stop them with the help of his family and friends, of course. But for now, we don't know any of the answers, but I really do look forward to tomorrow night's episode. This is going to be the season 2 finale of Superman Lois. And season 3 is going to be actually happening next year, not this year. So we will have a while to wait, but it's going to be very exciting. And I can't wait to see whatever the cliffhangers are in this episode. Especially, I think it's going to be Diggle related and also related to the Arrowverse as a whole. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.